Hey guys, it's Drake here. Now, I don't know how you're all holding up to this whole pandemic thing, but I think it sucks. Like, seriously, I'm losing my freaking mind over this. And honestly, at this point, I'm just thinking, screw it. I just want to expose myself to corona. Now, obviously, I'm not referring to the virus. I mean, seriously, that terrifies me. By corona, I'm referring to the fun, high-voltage plasma kind. Alright, so let's get right into it. So I've put together this little uh, curling photography setup here. Now, I'm definitely not the first person to do this. In fact, this is based on an 80-year-old pseudoscience technique that was actually based on experiments done decades before that. So this is actually pretty old. And there's also a bunch of videos online about this. Uh, in fact, I, uh, the first time I, I learned about this was from InstaVitas on Instagram. And, uh, and then I actually saw a really cool video by the Plasma channel who built one of these devices. So I decided to throw together my own and also do some different things with it. So yeah, let me show you how it works. Right now I have a quarter hooked up to it, but you can actually use a bunch of different metallic objects for different effects. Alright, so let me kill the lights here, and here we go. So pretty cool, right? So that purple glow that you're seeing is actually coronal discharge. And if you look carefully, you can actually see the letters being outlined in corona there. Now there's a couple reasons for this, but it's mainly because uh, regions of a high curvature in a conductor's surface are going to be where the electric field strength gets maximized, and thus that's going to generate more corona. Now in the past, similar setups were used to try to measure the aura coming off of a person, which now I know is just a bunch of pseudoscientific garbage, but you have to admit, it does make some pretty awesome effects. Now it's interesting, if I ramp the voltage here, you can see the corona slowly build up on the surface there and makes all those cool little sparkles. I can keep going and going, I don't want to blow out my transformers, and you get a nice glow coming off of there. And yeah, I can definitely smell the ozone from that. That's cool. All right, let's take a quick look at my setup here. But first, yeah, that's right, always discharge your capacitors. I start by feeding the output of this Scariac here into this rectifier circuit right here, and then that feeds into the ZVS driver, which then feeds into this box, which has a couple of vintage flyback transformers inside. Now, I'm not kidding when I say it's vintage. I mean, seriously, these things are really old. I think from the 1940s, actually. They're meant for uh, old black and white CRT TVs. Now the reason why I'm using this as opposed to the more modern flybacks is the fact that the, uh, the modern ones tend to have uh, internal rectifier diodes inside. So that means you can't do true AC and uh, then it won't work for this uh, Curlian imaging project. Now there's actually two of those transformers inside this box, actually encased in wax to prevent it from arcing over, because the insulation was starting to look pretty old and cracked. Now finally for this uh, Curlian plate here, it's actually just uh, two pieces of glass here sandwiched together. I got silicone around the outside, a, uh, a wire running around the outside, and the inside is actually just filled with plain old water. Now for the object that you're trying to image, that actually gets hooked up to the uh, high voltage uh, output there and then pressed up against the plate. Then this uh, outer wire just gets hooked up to ground. And that's all it takes to generate these really cool effects. Alright, let's see what else we can get to glow. Let me kill the lights here. Alright, so here I have a key. Ah, <laughs> cool. Oh, that's awesome. Wow. Got a razor blade there. Cool. It's so sparkly. Got a little bolt there. Huh. Well, I can't tell what's arcing over this side. Oh, it's just a little, uh, little copper bar there. It's generating its own corona. A spiral of wire. Alright, so all that stuff was pretty cool, but what's the real reason why I built this thing? A stupid pun. Yeah, that's right. I'm going to make myself a coronavirus. And yes, I'm aware that SARS-2 is not a phage, but these just happen to look a lot cooler. So let's put this thing on that setup. And there you have it. A coronavirus. Wow, I can't believe I spent all that time just to make that joke. But you gotta admit, that thing looks pretty sweet. Now, some might say that I'm trying to make light out of a bad situation, and they're right. That thing is literally producing photons in the low 400 nanometer range, and that's what gives it that nice violet glow. But yeah, I realize this is bad, 
I mean, for one, I'm a bit of a germ-phobe, so this is kind of my own living nightmare. I mean, for all the people involved, like the healthcare workers, my mom's a 57-year-old nurse, and her workplace still can't provide her the right PPE. It's ridiculous. I mean, I worry about her every day, and she's just one of millions that are just totally wide open to this. It's, it's such a bad thing. I mean, I mean, gosh, guys, I, you know, uh, practice your social distancing and take this seriously, because this is a really bad thing. A hilarious side effect of this setup is that it actually does kill viruses. I mean, the, uh, the strong electric field produced is going to rip apart whatever viral particles are on the surface. But actually, this setup produces quite a bit of ozone, and that certainly can kill viruses. Now, you definitely shouldn't breathe that, and this setup is far from practical, but it is funny that it can do that. Now, I will have to say that I do find it really fitting to use a phage here, because phages can be real bros in the laboratory. I mean, seriously, they, they can be extremely useful. In fact, the, uh, the 2018 Nobel Prize in Chemistry was given for a phage display of uh, peptides and antibodies. So yeah, they can be really useful. So that's all I have on my coronavirus killing coronavirus, so I hope you guys enjoyed it. I mean, this video was just for fun. I mean, it only took me a few hours to shoot it. You can probably tell that from the production quality. Now, if you guys are interested in this kind of thing, I'd be happy to shoot more short videos like this, because I'm always working on cool projects. Stay tuned for my upcoming video on giving yourself a haircut during a pandemic with lasers. Not really. Nah, my next video is probably going to be on a massive overclocked plasma lighter. But yeah, until the next time, stay safe and practice your social distancing.